Hey, dearest. Got a minute for me? Sure. What's going on? You remember what we talked about? <clears throat> so help me, Gray. You mind sparing us the scowl? You're making them nervous. I highly doubt that. No, uh, actually you are. <laughs> there you have it. There's no helping this guy. Stubborn as they come, he is. Oh, yeah. You were, uh, married, weren't you? Oh, I didn't know you knew each other. This lady, she's Gray's partner, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. What about babies? You guys got any babies? Yeah, um... <clears throat> <laughs> so it seems that even the unflinching Grey can be caught unawares. Can we be done with the tomfoolery? Just tell me what you wanted and quick. It's about the investigation. It was still ongoing until recently, but... Wait. Someone could overhear us if we do this here. I'll prepare a secure location. We can talk in more detail then. What are we even talking about? Nothing that concerns you. Actually, I'm thinking of asking for their help. What? They've been very cooperative in matters like this one. I think you'll find their assistance beneficial. Well, I will. Will I? Well, all right. Right then. Rosanna, you can fill them in. Sure thing. Thanks, Monica. Right. Nobody should bother us here. Now let's hear it. Okay. Well, we've been investigating for a while, and we discovered some suspicious activity from some of our own city folk. What suspicious activity? My husband here initially asked me if I could do something about the Hardliners' aggressive policies. We knew those guys were up to no good, so we were trying to take precautions. Well, listen to this. Apparently, the Hardliners might be using city technology to nefarious ends. It sounds like something was stolen from R&D. And we expect that that something will be abused to further their goals. Though we can't say what those are exactly. And what could have driven them to this? You have to understand, this place isn't as monolithic as it might seem. Some folks take a really inflexible stance towards issues they might have, no matter how small. That's the long and short of it. Yes, it's just that this time, the problems have come to a head somewhat. We like to avoid unrest within the city as much as is reasonably possible. So I asked my husband for guidance. And additionally, I figured that you might lend your assistance as well. Oh, I see. So that's what's going on here. Yes, of course we'll help. Although you know you could have come to us with this in the first place, right, Gray? <sighs> Sorry about my husband. You know, he's not the most communicative type. Understatement of the year. Huh. It just struck me. Gray's all... wrinkly. But you're not. Oh. Oh, <laughs> you're right. I'm a lot younger than he is, so that's certainly part of it. Right, honey? <sighs> Come on, talk to us, Gray. Communication. You must have heard of it, at least. I know he looks like a right grump, but he's a good bloke, really. That furrowed brow comes with age, too, I'm sure. Do I have to endure this much longer? <laughs> now I get it. I did wonder how a guy like Grey could cope in a place like this. You keep him on the straight and narrow. Oh, dear. You really think so? <sighs> in any case, those things you collected also seem to have gone for a walk. So in short, you want us to take them back by force? There you go again. Just asking for trouble. No need. I'm sure we can resolve this amicably. What I wanted to ask you is if you could collect some more. Some more of what, exactly? Oh, do you mean those things Grey was gathering? Yes, that's right. We've got an approximate location. So let me give you that first. We can handle this, no problem. Looks like we're doing this, G-Dog. 
Time to saddle up. Yes. I'll do some looking myself as well, I reckon. Don't throw your back out. That should be my line. You're always so reckless. I know. I know. So Gray's what passes for a good bloke round here, huh? I told you not to maunder on. They're going to Daedalisle. It's gonna be a tough fight. Case. You want to tussle? Oh, we can tussle!
Looks like trouble found us. mind. Supplies just dropped.
each other busy. Is it supposed to be here? If she had information to pass us, it must have come from Monica. That ought to make it trustworthy. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder. We still haven't found a thing yet. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything here, either. Doesn't look like it's gonna turn up. How about we just give up and head back already? Hmm. Oi, Grey, you listening? I said... Wait. An ambush, eh? Huh? You finally made it, Grey. Then you are. Looks like the info was good. We'll have a bit of your time if you don't mind. What just happened here? They look vaguely like lost numbers. Yeah. I thought they were supposed to be our allies. I suspect they're just an irritant, sent here to slow me down. But who'd want to slow you down? Are they part of that opposing faction you were banging on about? Hmm. 
So then, these soldiers would have to be... They're part of Monica's faction, no question. But even that's got its share of radicals like these guys. The ones that like to stir things up. Stir up what, though? Nothing good, I guess. Their ultimate objective is the eradication of Mobius. But they'll stop at nothing to achieve it. That's where the trouble starts. They see the key pieces aligned on the board. Even Ouroboros are now in play. Now all it will take is to wrench the command from Monica and the entire city could be mobilized. Could they really do that? There are ways. Steal enough Levnesses from us, whittle away at Monica's support, and soon she'll be wide open. Hard to tell exactly how they'll make their move. But it seems they've decided the time is ripe. Okay, and what's that got to do with slowing you down? Unlike most city folk, I'm a lone wolf. Might be they didn't account for me in their calculations and just... simplified the maths. Since Grey's not usually in the city, they would have to get him where they want him, then restrict his movements. Oh, right. Now I'm with you. You see? Uh, hang on. One more thing. Doesn't that still seem weird? It was Rosanna that told us to come here, right? That's right. And we were ambushed. That would suggest an information leak. What do you want to do now? Whoever goes up against me, they're getting crushed. That's all. And what about Rosanna? We're going back to the city. Come on, keep up. <gasps> I hope you weren't followed. <sighs> We've got enough decoys to keep them off our case, so I doubt they'd find us so easily. Still, if we keep twiddling our thumbs, it's only a matter of time before they rumble us. We've already sent men. Well, that was unavoidable. He's Vandam's man through and through. Five years we've been biding our time. Now that we have a chance, we can't let it pass us by. Yes, agreed. So why do you jeopardize everything by stealing that thing? If it hadn't been me that noticed first, our whole plan could have gone up in smoke. Well, maybe this wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been taking your sweet time with this thing. Calm down, both of you. They'll never find this place. And even if they do realize something's amiss, I've got ways to keep Monica off the scent. If you say so. Getting her out of here will leave one fewer obstacle in the city. The only problem is Grey. Some problem, though. He fought with Guernica on the front lines. And his nose is as sharp as ever. Still, you can handle him, yeah? Oh, don't you worry about that. Well, that should earn us some time. I don't see any outstanding issues. Rosanna's close to the core of the R&D team. And most importantly, she has Monica's ear. She'll use her non-combatant position if it's her neck on the line. Even if she has to betray her own husband. We'll be under more scrutiny than ever. So don't you dare do anything stupid. Trust me, I won't. I wouldn't throw my back out for nothing. If the others try to hinder our plans, we might have to actually use this thing. Lest we put our plans in motion ASAP. Seriously, how could our whereabouts have been leaked? Huh. The investigation comes Would later. Would you believe it? First, back to the city. What a menace.
Gray. You're the guy who works with Monica. There's something I wanted to pick your brains about. Hmm. Let's hear it. I've heard your Rosanna has been trying to get outside. I see. She was stopped by the soldiers and turned back just like that, they say. Just for my own conscience, I went to check it with the R&D team, but they said she'd not come in that day. Whoa, is she okay? What if she was forced into something by that lot who attacked us? You were attacked? It's nothing. Keep going. Right, well, that's about it. It just seemed a bit fishy, is all, which is why I wanted it noted. What did Monica have to say? Um, about that. She actually took an away team and went out. Something about a request from Rosanna. It seemed urgent. I mean, I suppose it must have been to get the boss moving like that. I wonder what that's all about. No clue, but I'll look into it. Appreciate it. Really, I do. Somehow, I don't feel like sticking my neck out myself here. Great. Do you know where Rosanna could be? I haven't the faintest idea. You seem real relaxed for someone whose partner's missing, pal. She made Monica leave the city and tried to go outside herself, too. That does feel rather odd. Furthermore, Rosanna should be aware of the dangers that await a non-combatant on the outside. Right? And if there was something she needed from beyond, couldn't she have just asked Monica? Well, you want to contribute or what? Whatever the case may be, Rosanna's tough. She'll be fine. Huh? I don't know where she went, but I can think of a few people who might. Well then, shall we try asking them? That might be the quickest way. Who are we asking then? A doctor, a mechanic, and an old friend. Would you believe it?
Would you believe it? all that we can now. I'm starving. Got anything I can eat? This reminds me.
How are we looking out there? Monica's still gone, but Gray's back with Ouroboros, looks like. That guy really doesn't know when to quit. Still, if we can just disrupt the command chain, everything else should fall into place, right? Finally. Our toy will have its day. Of course. It's high time we got to use this thing, and I couldn't think of a better opportunity. Oh, yes. She turned out exactly as I'd hoped. You're a sly one, aren't you? Getting people to accept you, then using them as you like. I'm sorry. What? Skilled technologists from R&D always have to be... managed, to a degree. We've watched you closely. And you've never leaked info about our actions to anyone. You've helped us come this far. Regardless of the results, you've made your bed as our accomplice. You're still not making any sense. You think the plan's going to fail? I don't intend to let this opportunity pass me by. Whatever happens, I'll leave my mark on this city. I promise you that. This is our chance to gain the upper hand in one fell swoop. No need to get gloomy. Yes, that's exactly it. We'll have Ouroboros in our hands, and we won't have to fight them. No more hiding. No more biding our time. No more taking anyone's crap. That stuff's for the birds. Guernica, Monica, they're too soft by half. We'll cause a disturbance in the city, then use the confusion to steal away all the Levnesis. With Monica gone, now's our window. We'll suppress the military. Once we bend Ouroboros to our command, all we have to do is squish Mobius under our thumb. You think they'll ally themselves with us? Even after we cause all this ruckus? Ha! <laughs> They're just a bunch of kids. They'll be putty in our hands. Right. Yeah. Putty in our hands indeed. Is it really here? Be on the lookout for a hidden door. Anything that strikes you is odd. Was it meant to be here somewhere? Looks like a whole load of nothing. Well, this is where the doc said. Wait. people this cranky beats me come on let's just follow him us out all the way out here. You're like a right proper hound. Ha! You're right on the money there. He's Vandam's little doggy is what he is. There's nothing for you here, Grey. Go wag your tail somewhere else. Whoa, they're really laying into you. Go on, Grey, give him a real tongue lashing. No need. What? Sure there is. You're not gonna let these clods make fun of you and have the last word. 
Ouroboros are still just kids, and it shows. If they're your latest traveling companions, then oh, how the mighty have fallen. If you're here, I assume it's because you figured out our plan. Looks like we'll have to get rough. Or are you gonna sit there like a good pooch and lick yourself? Yeah, I'm not that flexible. First, I'll kill you. You, I'll keep alive for now. Might still kill you later, if you don't tell me anything worthwhile. Whoa, I knew we were gonna see action today. But this is more than I signed up for. Yeah, doesn't spark around, does he? Uroboros are your only allies now. Rosanna is on our side. You still wanna fight? Of course. It is, after all, my job. Loyal to a fault. That's a hound for you. But you can't protect the city with that wimpy attitude. Today, this hour, the city will be transformed. And the cause of peace demands a sacrifice. What? What the? What's happened? You bitch! What did you do, Rosanna? Oh, didn't I tell you? There's a power threshold. Like a maximum? It's an interesting system. Little Drum Drum and I incorporated it. So now you decide to turn on us. You'll wish you hadn't done this. No. 
I haven't betrayed anyone, at any point. It seems to me it's completely slipped your mind, when you were all acting so fishy five years ago. It was me who broached the subject to you, when you roughed up the doctor back then. You don't remember? And the conservative leader, Garrett, who put you in touch with him? Me again. We'd round up all the unsavories and toss the trash all at once. And now, your time's up. My dear husband doesn't like me staying out too long. So now my part in this is over. Here we go. Rosanna, Gray, you bastards! Would you believe it? Man, I could have sworn Rosanna was one of the bad guys. Me too. Even you thought so, right? Why would I? Uh, those shady dealings for a start. They didn't set off any alarm bells for you. Hmm. Honey, do you realize people can't read your mind? I told you not to throw your back out. Not what I was talking about, but I'll bite. You really can't stop being reckless, can you? We're all still alive. I don't think that counts as reckless. Now, Guernica, he's the one who was reckless. But then again, even his actions may well have borne fruit. We're back to talking in riddles again. The original idea was for me to stop the hardliners myself, without involving all of you in this. So I'm sorry. I'm sure it was quite a burden. I don't get the thinking here. Surely you could have just asked Gray for help in the first place. Our opposition would have noticed something was up. They'd never have lowered their guard like that. They thought they had me pegged as weak. That's what made it easy for them to bring me aboard. That's basically it. How much did Monica know? Oh, she knows me. When I needed her out of the city, she obliged without a single peep. Some things you have to say out loud, and others go without saying. You know how it is. Um, nah, I really don't. <laughs> Well, then one day, you will. Huh. One of those things, is it? Yep. Better get used to it. Hmm. What? The point of us old-timers is to keep you youngsters on the right path. If you trust us, you don't have to hurry so much to try and understand things. Oh, my. Someone's a chatterbox today. Oh, for Spark's sake, could you not? All this beating around the bush is driving me up the wall. <laughs> Why don't I translate for you? He's saying he wants to keep working with you for a long time to come. See, that I can understand. Right back at you, Grey. Huh! 
Would you believe it? 